मध्वे पितनु ते भक्ति मूर्ख मावर्त श्रुति वंदे श्री मदन गोपाल जय हो जय टुडे मॉर्निंग टाइम इट वॉज नॉट फिक्स टू गो ग्राम प्रचार सडन आई नो दैट वे आर गोइंग टू ग्राम प्रचार एंड इट वॉज वेरी नाइस देर एंड जस्ट आफ्टर कम बैक आई वॉन्ट इट टू गो In the street of Nitai Dham, Baba said, "No, no, no, come, come with me to the kutir. I have to go Radha Kalwani, Navakishar Mandir." So I said, "I have my lecture. Okay, okay, that's that's okay. You have to take rest today. Now you have to come." So I came and. So my medicine, and I went to Baba Kuti. So that's why I'm sorry. We could not continue. Tomorrow also we are going uh, some another village, Lower Gram or Tarban. I don't know where. <laughs> so many name was there. So tomorrow morning, from Baba we will know this. From where we have to go. So tomorrow morning also maybe if we we'll go so far from here from Radha Kun, so we can continue morning katha. Even katha will be little bit longer. Even katha will be little bit longer. So in evening we'll meet again. <coughs> Now last little part of. Ananda Manjari Shampu Vika, and just after we'll finish, we'll start Ascharya Rasa Pramana. Ascharya Rasa Pramana. Nitai Jan Bhava Pado Jiniyam Ritera Bhado Amisrao To Bahishato Thare. रामचंद्रे is going to madanava the mother yanuba the such glory is countless endless limitless so no one can describe everything from the points of your glory is such such quality brashta not well good consciousness that like me by the sangas ramachandra goswami is reminding us if our sangha is not okay then our consciousness will destroy so if our consciousness will destroy then also we have to depend on the mercy of guru vaishnav and devotees by the blessings of you ramachandra goswami he says he mata jagava he ma janava only by your mercy i can describe one drop from the ocean of your glory because i am not qualified no one can do this 
But by your mercy, anyone can do this. They can count everything, even the dust of this earth. They can count if you bless them. So I just describe how much I know. It's not more than one drop. But that is why I describe by your mercy. Nitai Janabhavata Jini Amritara Haro. The lotus feet of both of you. Maha Janava and the lotus feet of Sadi Nitai. From there always flowing the ocean of nectar. Always flowing. <coughs> but we cannot realize. We cannot taste that Amrita nectar because of that Mandamati, bad consciousness, bad intention, bad intelligence. Manda Buddhi, Mandamati. If we want to fail or to realize, all the taste of that nature. If we want to swim there on the ocean of that nature, which is flowing from their lotus feet, we have to make our mind favorable. We have to prepare ourselves and we have to wait until we get that mercy from them. Nitai Chaitan no Pran, Apavare Kar Pran, Pado Padme Nayu Sharam. Hey Mahajanava, you are very loving, not only to Nitai, also for Sri Gaurashwata. Both of them love you so much. So, if you are pleased to me. Then Nitai Goranga, both of them, they will be very merciful to me. If you'll allow me, if you'll bless me, then automatically I'll get the blessings from Sri Nitai and <coughs> Sri Goranga, Sri Gauranga. And if I'll get Nitai Goranga blessing, then automatically the blessings of Sri Radha Govinda is there. That day, someone I forgot who, he asked, if my consciousness only connected with Gauranga, Vittam, then is will get the mercy of Sri Radha Govinda? Is it possible? I have no attachment with Radha Govinda, but my heart and mind is dedicated to Nitai Gauranga. Is it possible to get their mercy from Sri Radha Govinda? Can we enter by the blessings of Nitai Gauranga there in Vrindavan Yoga Vita? So the answer is not from me from scriptures from six Goswamis. It is enough for us if you are blessed by Sri If you are blessed by Nithananda, then automatically you will gain the mercy of Sri Gaurashundar. And if you are blessed by Sri Gaurashundar, then that is the gate pass to enter Braj Vrindavan Yoga Vita. If you are following the pastimes 
after having the swaru from Sri Gurudev of your Manjali swaru. If you are following, then you have to know this, you must know this, that to go through Navati. We are not allowed to enter directly to Vrindavan Yoga. Not possible. If you are attached with Nitai Goranga or not, that is not the point. The point is you have to go through Navati Yoga. You cannot enter directly here. You have to cross Navadip Yogavit, then you can enter. So, the first most important part of our bhajan to have the blessings from Nitai Gauranga. To have the blessings from the associates of Nitai Gauranga. Then, we get the blessings of Nitai Gauranga and we can get guest pass. To enter. And we have to enter with Sriman Mahaprabhu, not without Sriman Mahaprabhu. All the pastimes just follow there that Mahaprabhu he entering in his previous Leela and so all the devotees, the sadhakas, they are following this. When Mahaprabhu entering in his previous Leela, that means in Vrindavan Leela, then we can enter there. Not before that. The Ramachandra Goswami is reminding us about that point. The most important to have the blessings, mercy, postless mercy, because we are not qualified to have to show our dedication, bhakti, uh, uh, nishtha to them, and they will be pleased and they will spread their mercy to us. No, not possible. We are not really qualified like this. We have to wait for God's day's mercy. And all of us is, we are all really waiting for that. Costless mercy. And that's the great hope that they have that de desire. Nithai Gauranga. Not everyone. Not everyone. Also, it is said about Krishna that Krishna sometimes is spreading his costless mercy. But not actually. He did this. He did this only for his near associates. Very near. And for them who are very dedicated, whose consciousness is very good, whose mind is favorable to Krishna. Otherwise, he said to Arjun in Samad Bhagavad Gita, Oh Arjun, do not explain or say something about me in front of someone who has no faith on me. Is not it? In Samad Bhagavad Gita, he said, Who has respect for me? Who has faith for me? So, in front of them, you can say, you can explain my truths, or you can say some things about me. Otherwise, if you feel that one person is not in favorable mood for me, and he has no trust or faith or respect for me, so don't say a single word, not even a single word about me in front of him. If Krishna's desire is like this, if Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, they will follow this. So what will happen to with us? What will happen with us? What Nitai Chadha did on the time of his preaching to others, they blessed, they spread their costless mercy even to Jagai Mahaprabhu. <coughs> They have no respect, faith, even the big Nitaicha. In front of them also, then also, after the big Nitaicha, 
देनो सुनी तैचात के देव हरि नाम सो दैट्स व्हाई यू हैव ग्रेट होप दे हैव सच काइंड्स ऑफ हर डिजायर टू स्प्रेड देयर कॉस्टलेस मर्सी टुवर्ड्स एवरीवन नॉट ओनली ह्यूमन बीइंग्स टू एवरीवन श्रीमान महाप्रभु ही रिक्वेस्टेड टू नितायचार नायने देखिवे जाने लोयने मधुर कृष्णा हु एवर विल कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर आईज यू मस्ट गिव हरिनाम टू हिम नॉट ओनली ह्यूमन बीइंग्स टू द एनिमल्स आल्सो टू द प्लांट्स आल्सो so we have this that great hope that they have costless mercy and we will get that costless mercy from them <coughs> so it's like a tricky way to please them how we are doing in in our material life if we have to please someone who is very famous or i designate the nation so we will go to someone who is very near to him is not yeah. if he is a very big official then will will please first to his secretary will try to please his son a loving person then through them will go very easy to that that person who is on the very high stage so for us for calling people that is the tricky way to go very easily direct to nitai and goranga through janava easiest way to have their costless mercy blessings then when we will go through janava that time it will not costless mercy that is the cause we are very near to janava that's why they are bound to spread their mercy to us when janava ma will introduce us in front of them that you have to bless them so they have nothing only to bless ramachandra goswami that's why he just remind this you are nitai chaitanya pran you are very loving and nearest one of nitai goranga and you have such a desire to protect apamora karutra you are giving liberation to everyone apamora that is your searching the qualities you are not judging you are not examining if he is good or not you are mercy for everyone so that's why i took center on the lotus feet path of one the lotus feet wow modishwari pato bhavi nam na sri lalita devi tar kripaye je hai sharon drisha vrindavan das tar pato pat nyas dhuni paramastha ke pushan श्री चैतन्य नितानंद श्री गंगा श्री वीरचंद्र श्री अद्वैत गुरु भक्त गण तुम सभार श्रीचरण प्राणधन से भजन स्मरण नाउ हिज टेकिंग सेक्रेट टू एवरी वन टू होम वाट टू दलिता देवी द लीडर then brindavan das why brindavan das is very important for us chaitanya lilar vyas brindavan das vyas dev he appeared here in this kaliyu as brindavan das what and we know the first biography of sri chaitanya he described brindavan das श्री श्री चैतन्य भागवत 
It was before Chaitanya Mangal. The name of Sri Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat was before Chaitanya Mangal, Sri Chaitanya Mangal. But Janavama, no, not Janavama, Vishnu Priya. Mother Vishnu Priya, she changed the name. After she read the Granth book of Lochana, Lochana, then she changed the name. Before Vrindavan Das Granth, it was named Chaitanya Mangala, she changed, no. Then Lochan, your Granth is Chaitanya Mangala. Lochan Das She said, the name of Vrindavan Das, <coughs> that book, it will be Chaitanya Bhagavat. So Vrindavan Das, why? Maharshi Vedopiyas, he just accepted that name, Vrindavan Das. <coughs> because he wanted to describe the life story of Sri Krishna who appeared here in the Kali Yuga as Sri Gaurashwara. And now he is covered. He is not open. It was very easy in Dwapara Yuga that Krishna was open there. If something is uncovered, you can see and you can, you can describe all the points. Only to look at this. Isn't it? It's very easy. What is there? Yes, there is one stand and top on the stand is there is camera. By this you can record all the videos. So it's open, that's why you can. If it's covered, Then you have to imagine. Then you have to imagine. Then you have to ask someone who covered this. <coughs> then you have to go to suit. You have to ask, oh, what is this? So who knows this? What is under covering? You have to ask them. <coughs> In Dwapara you, Krishna was open, uncovered. So it was very easy to describe his truths, tattva, his pastimes, his nature, his mood, everything. It was very easy to describe. But he appeared Karu Prakshanya Avatar. In this Kali Yuga, Sri Krishna he appeared covered, not uncovered. Prachanna avatar, hidden form. He hide himself with some things, not only by the colors, also by the mood. Radha bhava duti shubhanitam nomi krishna shubhanitam. Duti, that means, what do you feel this? If it is only by the body of Hajjus, then also you can imagine some things. But it changed the mood. It is also covered by the mood of Srimati Radharani. So how you can recognize? One male form, but mood of a female form. So it's very difficult to describe. Maharshi Vedopi yes. That's why he accepted. No. We have to take center on everyone, all the near associates of him. Not only the human associates, not only his friends, his parents, his uh, beloved, his sakis, his servants. Also, I have to take center to the plants, the dust the fruits, flowers, everyone. Because they are very powerful. First, that's why. What did you say in the scriptures? Brajavash Govinda Shiva. The stage of our world. But you know, that day, something 
very nice open by Baba, Pran Krishna Baba. That day we were in Sudhi Chaudhary house. <coughs> so he started to say about this. And in the scripture, in the book, it is written differently. There is two parts. Brajavas, one part, Govinda Sarva. After you will stay here in Braj, then you have to serve Sri Govinda. But that day he opened one another part. Only by staying here it is Govinda Sarva. <laughs> Something very surprising and very true. <coughs> if we'll only stay there doing nothing, that is also Govinda Seva. Brajavas, that means Govinda Seva. <coughs> That's why we have to fix our mind here in Braj. <coughs> Anyhow, Aratha Bhagavan Bhujesha Kamaya Stadhava Vrindavana. Don't forget. Our Easter is Sri Govinda, Sri Krishna. Don't forget, he is the son of Nanda Maharaj. Not the son of Vasudev. We should not go Mathura or Dwarka or Hastinapur or Kurukshetra. We have to focus our mind on the lotus feet of Krishna, who is son of Nanda Maharaj. Who is a coward boy? Don't go to a king. <coughs> because we are very poor. Hmm? We are really very poor. So when we go in front of the king, the sentry <coughs> does not allow us <coughs> to go direct in front of the king with these uh, torn dresses, dirty dresses. Only such person can go in front of king who is very nicely decorated, who is very rich. But we are all poor. What we should do? We have nothing. <laughs> so that's why for us, one covered boy is very near. He is always covered by the dust. His, his uh, clothes also is dirty by the dust of grudge. Because he is playing here in the field with his friends, with his cubs. So always he'll be covered by the dust. You will accept this anyhow. So don't go to Dwarka or Mathura. Go to Vrindavan. Stadhama Vrindavanam again reminds. Again one reminder. Tattahama Vrindavan, don't forget. He's there in Vrindavan. Ramya Kaji Dupashana Prajavadvarki Nashaka. So then you have to worship in that way. But that is another thing. That is more higher. Tattahama Vrindavan, and you have to stay there first. In Rai Ramananda Sambhat, Ramananda Roy, he says that. Mahaprabhu asked, Sharva Tiyaji Jivet Kattu Pokahavash. And Ramananda Roy answered, Brajo Bhumi Vrindavam Javali Larash. That is our duty to stay there. Only it is, why it is very important for us to stay, to focus your mind, to fix, to lost your mind and heart in Vrindavan. Why it is very important? Because that day it was open. Because only staying at Braj is also serving of Krishna. And when, whenever you will stay here, whatever you will eat, everything will be pressure. Whatever you will drink, everything, all the water, all the drink will be channel memory. Whenever you will take shower, 
all the water, even in your bathroom. Just before I came here, one was asking, when you are going to Kunda every day? I said, my Kunda in, in my bathroom, there. I'm not getting so much time to go to Kunda to take, take bath, because I have to take bath, uh, shower in the morning. So after that, because I have to wait. When Baba will call me? Now we'll go. She'll call 6 a.m., she'll call 7 a.m., 8 a.m., any, any time. So that's why Kunda is there. And it is not false, it is not wrong. All the water here is holy water. Even you are taking shower in your bathroom, there also all the water drops is holy water. Whatever you will drink, all the drops of that drinks is charanamri. If you drink water, that is also. Yes, Baba mentioned this. It's very surprising. He says, he said that he will drink alcohol, that is also charanamri. <laughs> <laughs> he will drink alcohol. That is also Tamanamriti in bread. Everything is prasa. And it is not wrong. It's true. If it is touched by anyone here, even by the dog, street dog, then it is prasa. Prasa of Vaishnava. Prasa of Dhuruti. Who live here, who born here, you have to accept all of them, the near associates of Krishna. That is why. They are very fortunate. Maybe for, for millions of their lives they perform some very good austerities. That is why they are born here in Radhakun and in Braj. Maybe as a dog. Maybe next life they will get human form. But I born as a human, but not in breath. So they are more fortunate than me. They are more near to Krishna than me. So that's why they are here. How did they born here? Very much. So that is why he is my future. <laughs> Today, <clears throat> something, we have to watch the Siddha Mahatmas and we have to learn it. And every step, all the activities of them is for us very great teaching. Today we went to village prachar, gram prachar. <laughs> so sometimes when bike, bike was coming, towards us, so Baba just stand in front of the bike. <laughs> and sometimes the boys and sometimes me stopping them and calling them, pulling them. And Baba is watching, is they have country or not? <laughs> if they have country, so Baba offer pranam to them. I've seen. Even one small boy, he has country, so Baba offer pranam. You are Brajvasi with Tulasi Mara, so I offer my pranam to you. <coughs> it's also for us, it's a great teaching. <coughs> Who has Tulasi Mara, we have to respect. <coughs> Who, has, who is wearing Vaishnava dresses, who has Tilak, who is chanting, but to offer our pranam to them. Krishna Tarasya Viri Tangma Shadri Dupadi Shamrita Rupa Goswami Pad He teaches us. We listen all the words, but we are not following. 
So in front of us, Baba, again he teaches this. It's reminding me that sloka, Kushpet Yashogrita Murshadriyata. Whenever, wherever you see someone is chanting, Krishna, now, offer your pranam. By mind, offer your pranam to him. Whenever you see someone with waist over dresses, with tilak, kanki, offer your pranam by your mind. Manasadriyata. You have to take shelter on their lotus feet by mind. So respecting that way, it's teaching for us. So that's why Vrindavan Das, he accepted that name Vrindavan Das, takes shelter to everyone, to the dust, to the plants, to the uh, trees, to the bones, to the river, to everyone, not only human beings. Because they can reveal the truth of Sri Gaurasundar, who is Krishna. They can say, they can describe everything by their mercy. In Vyasa Deva, she will get the knowledge about Sri Gaurasundar. That's why he accepted that name, Vrindavan Das. So Ramachandra Goswami is taking center on his lotus feet. Hey Vrindavan Das, I'm offering my mind to a lotus feet. Please, please. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Nityananda, Sri Ganga, Sri Virachandra, Sri Adyaita Gura Bhaktagam, Tomashavar Sri Charan, Bhokmur Pranadhan, Shemur Bhajanaswam. Petri Prabhu, Sri Gura Nityananda, Sri Adyaita, <coughs> Hey Virachandra, Hey Ganga Mata, Hey, all the Gaura Bhakta Brinda, please place me. That by your mercy I can meditate your lotus feet in my heart. It's enough for me, for my bhajan. It's my bhajan. Only to focus my mind to all of your lotus feet. If I can do this, if I can focus my mind to a lotus feet, I know that is your duty to take my mind and heart to touch. <coughs> You'll not ignore me because all of you are very merciful. Ei bhikkha monotare deho prabhu avichare mo koti tyaat ke hunai Vishamo Modite Andhra Bhuta Prabhu Bhavabandhra Nidai Chaitam Bhavabandhra Peru Nidai Tisri Gaura Shundar Tisri Krishna Chaitam Bhavabandhra I beg I beg you mercy because I am here absorbed in this material world so much my consciousness, my dedication, everything is for this material world. I have no realization and feelings for you. So it will happen only by your conscious mercy. That's why I beg your mercy. Now, it is from my mouth, by word, but when you'll bless me, then this prayer will come out from my heart. <laughs> so that's why, maybe it is not in our heart. <clears throat> maybe it is not in our intelligence. Then also we have to say. First, by acting it will start our bhajan. Acting. We're not really connected. We're not really Surrender, but we have to say, Oh Krishna, I came here, Oh Radha, I came here to surrender to your lotus feet. It's active, always we are active. <coughs> it is only by our word. <coughs> when it will come out from our heart, 
then it will work. But you have to continue this activity. Every day, every moment. Then it will enter in your heart. Then one day, by their mercy, when they'll see, when they'll watch, okay, always he's saying, so maybe it is not, it's acting. When he's saying always this, always he's praying, so maybe it is not his acting. I have to do some things for him. <clears throat> so then there is great devils to us. So we have to continue. Ramachandra Goswami. He also says, My eyes are blind. <coughs> that is why I can see only all this material stuff, not you. <coughs> but in the scriptures, on the books, they say that Nitta Lila. Always is happening. Sri Radha Govinda, they are performing their pastimes here in front of us, but we cannot see because we are blind. Sri Gauranitta Ananda, but to remember the stories of Gangshi Das Baba, Gaur Kishor Das Baba. <coughs> Bhakshidas Baba, <coughs> always, sometimes, maybe he was talking with uh, his son devotees, suddenly he started to say, oh, see, my Nithai Gauranga is dancing. They are going with their devotees, with Kirtan. He can see. <coughs> and that was not his acting, that was really happening in that time. Really, Nithai Chaitanya, they are going on the streets with kirtan, with dancing, with singing, but only such person like Ramshi Das Baba, Gopi Das Baba, they can see this, they can watch. Not we are, we are blind. How we can open our eyes? That eyes. that we can see the eternal pastimes? <coughs> How? Of jnana timiram dhasya jnana jnana shalakaya chakshu unmilitam yena tashnam sahibunarena. Sri Gurudev, you know in our eyes. But when? When do you open? <coughs> when she will see the strong desire there in our heart, in our mind. If we want, is there is will, there is way. So that way, is there is will to see the person, the way, Guru they will open your eyes. So that way is there. Then Gurudev will open our eyes. Then Gurudev will hold our hand. Then he will take us from here. Otherwise, always will be here. In this material world, absorb in this, in this material stuff, in this material stuff, in samsara. We have to solve, help, help. If somebody is swimming in the river very well, nobody will jump to take him out from the river. Is that? So now we are swimming in this material ocean. Baba Shindu. And we are happy with that. So that's why Gurudev will not jump. When he will jump? When? She will see that we are going inside the water and we are shouting, help, help, bachao, bachao. So then one person who is very kind will jump and will hold our hair, then he will take us out from the river, from the water, to save our life. 
But if you are feeling well here in this material world, nobody will come. First we have to feel we are not okay. <coughs> we are not well here in this material world. We have to feel it. We are absorbed in the ocean of sorrow. Not pleasure, not happiness. <coughs> Then Sri Gurudev will hold our hand, hold our hair, to take us out to save our life. And then he will open our eyes to see the past times, to feel, to realize everything. Otherwise, we'll spend all our life and we'll get pleasure from this material world, which is the ocean of sorrow. We'll never get that realization, ultimate place, eternal place, will never fail. So Ramachandra Goswami is reminding this in front of Nikai Gauranga and it's also teaching for us that we are blind. I'm blind. That's why I cannot see your mercy. That's why my heart is also blind. I'm not only blind by eyes. Also blind by intelligence, blind by consciousness, blind by hurt, everything blind. So that's why I can feel or realize your mercy. I cannot see your God's mercy. I cannot see your Mahima glories. <coughs> that's why any time go on, I'm praying to you. Please pray to your costless mercy to us, to me. And you have to pray to us. By praying this, Ramachandra Goswami, he just take rest of Ananga Mandiri Sampurtika. And one Sankh Prathana, very special Prathana also, he did. Anang manjari dhani, kripa trishtya chahatumi, urao gar mano abhilas, laho mure gurja kure, chanum karao gopa bhare, gopa shangke deva mura bhaas. Shunamar daimna nivedam, nijo dashi gananai, amake goni vetai, tave mo shakra jiva. Hey Anang manjari. Please look at me. Look at me with your mercy. I want to take shower with that looking, by that looking of your mercy. Please fulfill my desire. Let me go as a daughter of Gopa. Take me there in Braj. And allow me to stay there to live my life with all gopas, prajvasis. Allow me as a very tiny servant of you, made servant of you, then I can feel my life is successful. Edehir kriyajato shal hok annumato. Karamore upero jhiyari, gopo balokero shangi, puri noyo haverangi, shuno pramo anandu manjari. Kya anandu manjari? All the activities, all my physical activities, it will happen by your desire. Please let me born as a daughter of gopa, and after that when I'll grow, then my father, my parents, they will arrange my marriage with another Gopa, so I can spend all my life there. Why? Why Ramachandra Goswami he said about the marriage? <coughs> Why not unmarried girl? Because if you will marry, so there is another attachment. 
if one business marries someone, some boy, so some law will be parted for that boy, her husband. So why Ramachandra Goswami, you want to marry one Gopa? To remind us that we are here. That's the point about uh, mm, <laughs> But it said, Parakya Mood. That day we are talking about this. Because as a manjari, you have to serve. At the same time, you have to keep that mood, that you are serving Sri Radha Govinda in that mood. <coughs> Because Mandaris, they have no separated love for Krishna. They love Krishna through Srimati Radharani. They love Krishna when Krishna is together with Srimati Radharani, when Radharani is beside Krishna. That time they love Krishna. When Krishna will play with Srimati Radharani, when they will spend their sacred pastimes in Nikunja Bhutit. That time they have strong love, very deep love for Krishna, but not separate. Then also, they have to keep that move of Parakya. That's why Ramachandra Goswami, he reminded that I'll marry. After I was born as a daughter of Gopa, then I'll marry another one. Who is also Gopa? Jogopito Shatakone, Rakmo Vedishing Harsane, Tumyar Kishor Kishori, Dua Nugato Haya, Dua Shishangi Ruya, Shevini Tihuya Gakari. Karangamagiri. When Sri Radha Govinda will be seated in the yoga pit. When both of them will sit it in the yoga pit. That time, I'll be there with your servant, with your will servant, with, with your dasi. What they will say, what they will indicate me, I'll follow their instructions. I can perform when you will allow me to be with your servants, then I can follow you and your instructions. Kobhu Tunja Samushkaro, Kobhu Bhastra Lankaro, Kobhu Paro Chamura Vijam, Kobhu Shubhashita Jale, Shamsnaat Karao Kutu Hale, Kobhu Puri Chalo Vastra. Then I can, I can perform all of the duties for you, for Kishor Kishori. So Sri Radha Govinda sometimes will clean the kunja. Sometimes I'll arrange the dresses and ornaments. Sometimes to feel that they're sweating, they're feeling hot. So that time I'll give them here, my chamara. Sometimes I'll give shower to them by the scented water. And sometimes when they take rest, I'll message their lotus feet. Hano dasha kabe habe tangulo jugavo kabe dohakar shechado vadone hano shato hai mo orao anki shulakon shogam thakum nasandani. Ramachandra Goswami is describing all the parts of the surface. Now he is describing all the parts of the service of Manjaris. Whenever I get this, ch get this chance, when I offer bitter nuts, bitter leaves with bitter nuts with some spices to both of them, to Sri Radha Govinda, you know, sometimes the desire is appearing in, a, in my heart that if I'll offer them certain power on their body. 
which is softer than butter. I'll feel my life is successful. Hey, Shabu Shiva Bhai, Sri Guru Prashade Bhai, Guru Pade Dhridha Parvash, Anand Manjari Dhyan, Nirantara Parabhyan, Jodhi Prajyukure Chakvash, if you want to live in Braj. How? Oh, that is the point. After some days, your visa will finish and you have to go back. Is not? You came here from different countries. After some days, your visa will finish and you have to go back. You cannot stay more, longer. After it will finish. So how we can stay here always? And other, also from different places of India. How we can stay here? Narutam Das Thakur, Rupa Goswami, Ramachandra Goswami, all of them, they said no. How long can you stay here physically? That is not so important. You have to lost your heart and mind in Vrindavan. <coughs> you have to stay here by your mind, by your heart. Physically you are living or not, that is not so important, but also important. Physically living also important, that, that everything is here. Prajavas is Kavinda Shivan. Then, she will engage us in that all seva, with kunja seva, kunja seva. Only Sri Gurudev can give you. Only Sri Gurudev can engage you with the seva. So that's why, always pray to the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev. Hey Gurudev, please check me and prepare me to do seva of Sri Radha Guru. Ananga Manjari Dhyan Niram Tarupara Gyan Jyoti Prajapura Chahavas. And then, always focus your mind in the meditation of Ananga Manjari. In front of you. Sri Gurudev is one form of Ananga Manjari. In front of you, Sri Gurudev, the next form is Sri Krishna. So everything, we can pray to Him. And in front of us, only that chance is there. What will say to Guru? Sri Gurudev will transfer this whole message to them. To whom I'll pray? <coughs> to Krishna, to Srimati Radharani, to Aranga Manjari. In front of us, only one deity is there. And He is everyone. Sri Gurudev. For us, he's in front of us, is the next form of Krishna. He is the very nearest servant of Sri Mati Radharani, Sri Ananga Manjari. He is very nearest one of Nidai Gauranga. So everything will say to me, she will take this all message to them. Guru Pade Tridhu Parvas. Nittananda Prabhupada Mulasara Sampada Jodhi Kripa Kareno Nitai Nahe Puri Bhavapashe Kade Ram Nitanya Dashe Nen Pati Ted Ar Kekunai At the last verse, the most harsh point he has revealed. Everything will happen. All I describe in front of you, everything will happen if you will get the blessings of Nittananda Prabhu Nitai Cha, Dhaya Nitai. Nittananda Prabhu Pada Mahasura Shambhada. You have to accept the lotus feet of Nittananda Prabhu that your men will. You have to mainly take shelter on the lotus feet of Sri Nittananda. Jodhi Kripa Koranirta, if you will get the blessings, costless mercy of Nitai, then Mahayapuri Bhavapasya. 
then this samsara sandhu, it will disappear. Because what Nita Chod said to us, promised to us, Jatheshtam re prata kuru hari hari dhani manisham tato vah samsaram budhi taranadaya mahilavari idam bahus potai ratati ratan yah pratikriham bhaje nityanandam bhajanatur kantam niravati He promised to us. He promised to us you just chant Mahamantra. You have not to do anything. For what you are tensed to cross that portion of samsara? Okay, I'm telling you, that is my duty. <coughs> I'll take you from here to there. Idam Bahus yes, I'll do this. I am promising you, I am Nithai, I am promising you, I can do this, only I can do this. Idam Bahus in that way, he promised to us. So, we have great hope. Maybe you are so fallen. Maybe you are less consciousness. Maybe you are less dedicated. So, nothing is there inside of our heart and mind. But then also we have Nithai. Then also we have Nithai, Dayal Nithai, and not only Dayal Nithai, Pagal Nithai. <laughs> and you know, it's very easy to please someone who is crazy. <laughs> who is Pagal? To please Mahaprabhu is very difficult. She will examine. But one Pagal person will be very easily satisfied by you. That's why amongst it all other <coughs> demigods, you know to whom you can please very easily? Shiva. Shiva. He's satisfied only with one bill of water. <laughs> only by one drop of water. One drop. Even one drop. He's satisfied. So Nidai, to please Nidai also, only only you have to check Mahamantra and you have to shout. Hey Nita! Hey Nita! Hey Nita! So when you shout from your heart, Nita will appear in front of you and you will hold your hand. So that's why we have great hope. We have Dayal Nita, Dayal Pagal Nita. And you will do everything for us. He promised, he took, he accepted all the responsibilities of all Kali people. Only we have to chant Mahamantra. Only very little things you have to do. Chanting Mahamantra, just put your fingers in the big bag and just continue your <coughs> Mahamantra and do everything. I not to do anything. All the other things Nithai will do for us. So in that way, Ramachandra Goswami, he completed, he finished the description of Ananga Manjari Shamputika. It is Sri Ananga Manjari Shamputika, Dhinyo Bodhika Shamprathana, Narusha Mai Narayana Chatuktar Hari, it is Sri Puna Krantha Ananga Radhikaya. So it finished. Ananga Manjari Samputika completed, will start today uh, as Nyamaraksha to start a new topic. So before, we'll start Ascharya Rasa Pravanda. All our dedication, bhakti, sarada, respect to the lotus feet of Ananga Manjari, and we have to pray by your heart. To her, Janavama, that we have that desire to develop such bhakti and prema for Sri Radha Govinda, for Nithai Gauranga. 
Okay, Anand Kamanjari, please let us do this. Please pray to your costless mercy to us. So, for my pronoun, to the Lucas Pita Anand Kamanjari, Sri Radha Govinda, and we'll take rest here, Anand Kamanjari, Sampurika. Now we'll start. Ascharya Rasa Pravanda. of Ashtarja Rasa Prabhupada then we have to discuss some things. Jayati Jayati Radha Pangashanti Pujangi Kavarita Urupadha Uchita Ananya Satya Tad Adhara Sudhaya Chai Jivita Shyama Thama Tadati Bisha Bishangi Naiva Tashchit Kishura the first look of Ashtarya Rasa Prabhupada. Describe this. Prabhupada Saraswati Path. According to Gauragana Ehtipta, Tunga Vidya Prajayasu Tava Shastra Visharada Shat Prabhupada Yoti Gaura Dhana Saraswati Prabhupada Saraswati Path. He was before Prakashananda. There is two Pravadhananda. It's, it's really contradictory. Maybe there is two Pravadhananda. One Pravadhananda is Guru of Upal Bhattu Kushwami. By the historian, it is said, who was Guru of Upal Bhattu Kushwami? She was not the same person here in Varanasi, <coughs> Prakashananda Saraswati. Both are not the same person. Because according to the time, it is not possible. Here it is said, Prakashananda, that she was the guru of Mayavadi Sanyasis. A big guru. Very famous. Before he criticized Sivan Mahaprabhu with some letter. But after that, when he got the mercy of Sivan Mahaprabhu, when Mahaprabhu did, after that he changed the name. Before it was Prakash, Ethics, External Feelings. And then Mahaprabhu, when he blessed Prakashananda, he changed the name Prabodh. Prabodh means very deep knowledge, very secret knowledge. After he got that mercy, after he got that very deep knowledge about Sri Radha Govinda, Puja Shiva, then his name was Prabodhananda. And then he wrote so many grunters, not so. He described so many grunters. Krishna Chandra Amrita, Vrindavan Mahima Amrita, and Ashtarya Rasa Pravanda, and so Sangit, some Sangit Vivak, or I guess I forgot the name. Huh? Sangit Mahatav. Sangit Mahatav, yes, Sangit Mahatav. Very beautiful on the country. <coughs> and according to Gauru Dhanatastik, it is clear how he described this world. That's why I said he described. If I say he wrote this, that means some imagination, some speculation is there. But his Sakhi, Tunga Vidya Sakhi, so everything he watched, and now he's describing. What he watched in Dwapar Lila, he described. It's very beautiful. From her heart, from the heart of Tukya Vidya Shakti. 
Now we have to know the nature of the meditation. Panchami Tunga Vidya Shad Jayash Panchami Dinai Chandra Chandana Bhuishta Kumkuma Dhudishalini Pandu Mandala Vastreya Dakshina Prakhradu She is very bright. She is wearing white clothes. And she decorated by the ornaments very nicely. That is normal. But the special thing is Dakshina Prakaradi. Her mood. What is Dakshina Prakaradi? There is five points. Dakshina Prakara, the first. Dakshina Prakara. Naika Manu Nirvam Bhashaha, Nayaka Bhitya, and Lagu Prakara, Dakshina. She is very favorable for both of them sometimes. Not only for Srimati Radharan, also for Krishna. Near to the mood of the Vishaka Shakti, not always, sometimes. That Vishaka Sakti, she is Sakya of Srimati Radharani, but favorable mood for Krishna also. Whenever Srimati Radharani will be angry to Krishna, so Vishaka Sakti always is trying to solve that problem. <coughs> Or is trying to solve that problem by the favor because she has some favorable mood for Krishna because she loves to see them together, not separated. So, Dakshina, this mood is also known as Dakshina mood, Tunga Vidya She has such mood. Again, Prakara. Sometimes she is very strong. Sometimes she is following all the instruction of Lalita Shakti. <coughs> and she is very expert by playing Veena. Very special instruments. In Rastila, she played Veena. She is following sometimes the instruction of Radhika Shakti. Maybe Srimati Radharani. She was angry to Krishna. And she said, Kunjadu Bhava Madhava. Get out from my kunja. So Radhika Shakti should catch the desire of Srimati Radharani. So she said, Oh, Tunga Vita, just push him out. Tunga Vidya Shakti should push and get out Krishna from the Kunja. Prakara, sometimes very strong. Naika Manu Nirvundha Shaha. She is very expert to solve the problem of the mind of Naika, that is Srimati Radharaja. Because after, sometimes, she will angry to Krishna. After she will say, get out from my kunja, after some time, she will feel the separation move. Separation pain. So she will start to cry. At time, Tunga Vidya Shakti. Manu Nirvan Dhasa. Then Tunga Vidya Shakti, she will say, oh Radhe, please wait. She will come back. Where is Krishna will go? Where Krishna will go? I know. He is very near. He is waiting. If someone will go, so, okay, just wait. I will bring Krishna to you. So in that way, Tungya Vidya Shakhi should make the situation down.
नायक विद्या नायक विद्या दे नो वेरी वेल द मूड ऑफ नायक ओनली टू सी देम ओनली टू सी देर एक्टिविटीज मे बी फ्रॉम डिस्टेंस दे कैन फील वट शूल डू मे बी दे अरेंज एवरीथिंग प्लेसले <laughs> and most of the time she is right what said secret will not come yes that was true he said it is him and also they can control the nayakas they will advise and sometimes they are successful to change their mind only they can do who has such power of nayaka vidya and logo prokhara sometimes they are very strong and sometimes they are strong but not so strong it depends on the situation if they will see just think about uh uh dam bond hui when krishna broke the pot yogurt <coughs> after that when mother yashoda catch him and she was there with one stick and it was very strong she start to chastise krishna it was very strong and krishna really start to cry she was afraid she was he was scared to see the mood of mother yashoda that day <coughs> after some time the fear of krishna turns to mana so mother yashoda she was saying oh you are always roaming with the monkeys and now your mood is changes monkeys <laughs> so krishna start to say when he got this mood of man abhiman so he start to say okay then free me i'll go to the jungle i'll go to the forest <coughs> because all the monkeys they are living there when i'm back also i have to live there in the heart of mother yashoda <coughs> she thought oh <coughs> If I'm free now, Krishna, maybe then he'll go to the forest. Then we'll go to the forest to search Krishna. Nobody is here. Only some woman, some maid servant is there. <coughs> so I should not allow Krishna. I should not free Krishna now. In her mind, she was afraid about this. If I'm free, Krishna, she will go to the forest. So, said it not, free Krishna. Afraid was inside her heart, but he did not open that fear in front of Krishna. She continued chastising Krishna, but she blocked to tie Krishna with that udukal, with that motor. <laughs> she said, "Okay, you must be punished. You should be punished." I will not allow you to play with your friends or to to go anywhere. I will tie you with that motor, and then she tied, because she was afraid about this. If she will free Krishna that time, she will go to the forest. So that is the mood, Lagu Prakara, 
according to the situation, they know to continue the chastising, but inside of their heart something is happening. <coughs> they will think, what I should do now to solve that problem? And they will continue with this. So that is love problem. So this five move is very special of Tungya Vidya Shakhi, who is describing Ascharya Rasa Paramahansa. That is why she can describe Rastrina. Because she is favorable mood for both. For Krishna, from Krishna's side, she knows everything. From Srimati Radharani's side, she knows everything about the mood and nature and the, the desire. Only she can. She can control Srimati Radharani. She can control Krishna. So that is why by this speciality only Tukya Vidya Shaki and like her, all the Sakis can describe Rasa Gila, Ascharya Rasa Paramahansa. This Grantha is based on Rasa Gila. This is described in Srimad Bhagavata. But some surprising point is there, astonishing point is there, that's why it is known as Ascharya Rasa Paramahansa. What is astonishing? Some points is very astonishing there. Here it is said, Tunga Vidya Shaki, Prabhupada Nanda he said that when all the Brajagopis, they came, after Krishna started to play flutes, when all the Brajagopis, they ran to Krishna, that time, Srimati Radharani didn't come. But in <coughs> Srimati Bhagavata, it is said that all the Brajagopis, at the same time, they ran to Krishna. But here it is said that she, she was blocked by Lalita Shakti. When Krishna started to play flute, she lost her mind and heart. So then she wanted to go there, but Lalita Shakti, she stopped Srimati Radharani. She stopped Srimati Radharani to go there. And then Krishna went to the house of Srimati Radharani and he managed to come there. Next ast astonishing point. When they start, when Srimati Radharani joined there with all the other devotees, <coughs> according to Rasa and Chaitanya Chaitanya also, there it is said, when Radharani found that with all the other Prajagopis, Krishna is there, so she was angry. She became angry about this. Oh, that means the same love. To see that equality for everyone, like Srimati Radharani, she was angry and she left that place. But here in Ascharya Rasa Prabhanda, it is said that before they will start the dance, Srimati Radharani desired to do this. She requested Krishna to manifest all the forms with, for all the Prajapopis because they are all the expansion of Srimati Radharani. And then also again, Krishna. He left that place, he left that, that place to take Samati Radharani in a secret place. Araha, <coughs> that means very secret place. So, so many surprising, astonishing points is there. That's why it is known as Ascharya Rasa Prabhupada. And who is describing? Tunga Vidya Shakti, who knows very well who was there. In Rastlila, 
Who was there? So, we have to listen, hear this Ashtaray Rasa Prabhupada from Tungabhita Shakti and we have to enjoy this. So tomorrow, evening we will continue this Ashtaray Rasa Prabhupada by which sloka I started that sloka. From the beginning, it's very sweet and very deep about their love. What I just said, this sloka, he offered his pranam to Gavinda Shaki Pravdananda Saraswati Pad. He offered his pranam to some one young boy, teenage boy. who has just got the situation before one snake. One snake is bite Krishna and that snake is Radha Bhujanga Sharpi. And the snake is there. Her bro of Sarvati Radha, he imagine it's like a snake. So that snake bite Krishna <coughs> and he was unconscious. And by some other situation, she was not in the situation of treatment. She will need to die. But then again he got the medicine by the Adhara Sudha. Very loving kissing from Srimati Radharani and again he will die. I offered my pranam to that Kishwar. That young boy who got such situation. So from tomorrow evening we'll continue Ascharya Rasha Prabhanda, the stories about that boy who got that sickness and that medicine. Together. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Hare Hare.